Fantastic. All right, so what I'll do next will be to just open up my Canva and I'll just bring... Okay, that's totally fine. So here is Canva right here. All right, so this is a cover here. I so can't see your screen. You can't see my screen yet? Uh, it's coming through now. Okay, okay, okay. If you have any challenges working with um, Google Meet, please let me know. I'll be happy to help you figure out what, if there are any technical challenges, that's what I mean. All right, so this is Canva Videos uh, Masterclass, and this is brought to you by Canva Video Mastery. Uh, again, this is our agenda for today. We are going to go through the Masterclass setup for today. We'll do a quick crash course on Canva videos, how to use Canva for videos. And then we'll do a little bit of gamified hands-on edited challenges. I have two challenges. And at the end of these two challenges, depending on how well each person does, one person is going to win a very interesting prize. <laughs> so prepare yourself. You win a very interesting prize. And um, lastly, we'll continue with a Q&A and a sharing a feedback session. All right, so just to introduce myself again, I am Dyer Samuel. I'm a research content and design strategist. I actually have background in neuroscience, background in consumer neuroscience and neuromarketing, as well as my first degree was actually in industrial design, graphic design major. So I've literally been doing design almost all my life. I was 16 years old when I first started designing back sometimes in 2000 and, 2002 thereabout. And since then, design has always been what I've majored in for the past couple of years. I happen to be a father as well as a husband. Uh, I don't know if that's okay to say that, <laughs> but just to let you know, um, I have a family. Um, so what we will do right now is let's jump right into this section here. But before I continue, if you are just joining us, I would like for you to introduce yourself briefly, if you can do that. Is that okay for you to do that? Can you introduce yourself briefly? Um, we've had Sarah, we've had Mina Grace, we've had Jamie, um, Creative Channel, Canadian Entrepreneur, D. Robbins. Can you please introduce yourself? It's okay if you cannot talk. You can use the chat to simply just go ahead and introduce yourself. I'll be happy to meet you. Just tell me your name, where you're joining from, and perhaps maybe what you do. For example, Sarah is involved with um, supporting primary age children and their families, while Jamie um, she wants to learn Canva for fun. I'm not sure I got what she does, but it's okay. Um, but she's based in Leeds. At least that's what I could get from there. Um, so please go ahead, just introduce yourself briefly. Please go ahead and introduce yourselves briefly if you can do that. All right, so let's just take a couple of minutes to do that. If you're not doing that, let's move on. So let's move straight into creating videos in Canva. All right, so if you want to create videos in Canva, so let's say, um, before I jump in actually, I think I should actually show you some of the videos I've done. Is it okay to show you? So, uh, so D. Robinson, my name is D. I'm a support professional in higher education. Fantastic. So let me open up a couple of videos that I've actually done with Canva. Um, I'm going to open up quite a number of them. You probably see a lot of videos here. And it's not nice that I'm just opening up everything inside my... Okay, so this will be fine here. All right, so let me show you this first. So I'm going to play this video. Um, Canadian entrepreneurs, my name is Daniel, um, based in Canada, I'm a founding incubator. Oh, fantastic, 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 fantastic. All right, so let me play this video and show you what, and this video was created sometime in 2020 or 2021, I think it should be, early 2022, that was when I created this particular video. Normally when you try to play a video in Canva, it's going to try and render and try to play. 
And this was an actual video for a YouTube channel. So I actually created this just from beginning to the end using just Canva, no other tool. Again, it's trying to render. I want to replay it again. And this was created when Canva just newly called it um, Canva Video Editor. Now there's this other one. This is a little bit long. It has audio. Oh, you might not be able to hear my audio. Okay, so what I'm going to do is let me stop presenting. Um, so there's audio involved in this. Okay, you know what? Let's play first. Uh, so I need to get audio. I need you to be able to hear the audio. Um, because it's what you enjoy the most. Okay, let me just pause that. Can you hear the video in the background? Can you hear the audio of the video in the background? You cannot. Okay, so what I'll do here, let me adjust my audio settings here. Okay, so let me take it back. Again, this is how Canva does its render. Just, but just to take a little feedback, were you able to hear the audio? Hear audio, right? Okay, so let me do this. Let me stop presenting. Let me switch the browser for you to be able to hear the audio. Is that okay? So when you are working with Canva, sometimes it actually hangs like that. It kind of stops and doesn't seem to. So I'm doing something here. Okay, so sending this over to so I'll be back on your screen in the next couple of seconds. All right, so with that, let me switch my tab to another Canva, and here you should be able to see what I am seeing and be able to hear what I'm hearing as well. So, okay. All right. All right, so let me share my screen. Now you will be able to see and be able to hear correctly. Okay, good. So, so this is this next one here, and this is what I was playing for you. All right. Now, some of you may have heard of Bitcoin as a currency, as a system of money that is currently going wildly high in price one day and wildly low in price the other. And what I'm here to tell you is to ignore the price. Now, you can see here that it's hanging, it's trying to render. Now that's a video made completely from scratch inside just Canva.
this is something you can create, whether for your charity, whether for your business. This is what I want to show you how to be able to create today. Now, let me show you a very advanced type that I also created just using Canva. And you can see this here. In fact, I can actually go to my Instagram right now and play it for you. And even my TikTok, you'll probably be able to watch it directly from my TikTok. So here you go. Done is better than perfect. Go ahead, write that messy first draft or take that clumsy first shot. Embrace the process. And who knows, you might just accidentally create a masterpiece. And you can see, that's one. And there are lots of videos here. So let me play from here. Let me play from here for you. An entire generation is studying for jobs that won't exist in the next 10 years. Imagine you're a writer and you've written about machines taking over the world. But now, the machines have taken over your job. What do you do? Don't worry though, before a new general purpose technology completely takes over productivity, it usually takes years. It doesn't happen overnight. The future of work is changing and you need to be prepared. Now is the time to get ahead. If you're here now, you could be there later. So don't wait. Start preparing yourself now. The future is yours. Go get it. Can you hear the audio? Can you hear how it sounds? Can you see how it's actually a simple video, right? It's a very, very simple video, but it just requires a little bit of mastering a couple of things. So as we go into this session right now, let's talk about three things, three key things that you need to pay attention to when you want to create videos using Canva. So first off, um, please look at my screen here. You will see what I have here. So whenever you want to create video, you come to your home page inside Canva here and you come to videos. So you click on videos here, you can select any type of videos you want to create, whether that is LinkedIn, whether it's YouTube video, whether you want to create just TikTok videos, you can select any template from here. For this particular video, I'm going to select TikTok, or let me select Instagram Reel. And with that, it's going to bring you to this screen here. Now, that's the first thing. Second thing I'm going to show you will be the tools that you can use to create videos within Canva. Now, for the tools here, what you want to pay attention to when you are creating videos, when it comes to the tools, is basically one, this aspect of what is referred to as a timeline. It's referred to as a timeline because this is where you control the time of your video. Now, Canva recently, I happen to be a Canva ambassador. Okay, Jamie, it's fine. Thank you very much. I happen to be a Canva ambassador. And one of the things that Canva released recently is the fact that if you are working with maybe a normal file, a regular file, you can literally just click this duration here and turn it into a video. So if you look at my screen here, you will see that there is five seconds on this screen here and as well as this screen. If I click on that duration, it removes the five seconds. What that means is now it has turned this file into a design file. But if I click on this duration, it turns it into a video file. So Canva calls it video switcher. What that means is you can literally turn any kind of file into a video. So whether you've done some fantastic designs in the past, you can literally just go to your files. And so let me say, this is one file here. Let me find a file that I created here. And so I want to play this to you. Look at this video here. So please pay attention to this video. You know what, if it wasn't for this, I wouldn't even know. I could have maybe been dead already. Because you know the measurement that it, well, it has a heart measurement. And sometimes my heart rate was going to 35. And now I'm going to pause that so that it doesn't continue there. But you, do you understand what I'm trying to explain to you here? Now, what we want to do is for this first lesson, for what I want to first of all show you here, I've talked about the timeline. I've talked about the tools. The other thing I want to show you is what is referred to as element timing. Now, how do you get started with creating videos? If you're trying to create videos, you can actually go from here. You can use any of the templates here. Um, there's something I teach called template mashup. Template mashup is when you um, use multiple templates to create a single design or a single video. Now, I like this here. I'm simply going to select this. This is the, Let's say this is the video I want to create. 
um if i want to upload a video this is where to upload the video you simply come to uploads here and then you click on upload files so you'll see videos you see audio you can upload video you can upload images you can upload audio as well okay sorry you can't see my screen i just noticed that that's why i usually don't like to share tab i like to share entire <laughs> windows so that everything works okay so now you should be able to follow my windows all right so this is what i'm showing you here so let's say you want to create a video a social media video you come to design here you will see a lot of templates depending on what you're trying to do you can select any of the templates but sometimes because um and i'm going to so let's look for a social change let's look for a social change video so let's say we want to create a video about social change so um let's look for what can we do a video about who can give me an idea of what to do a video about so let's say you click on this this is a this is a template right here and this template right here is just a template right now if you play it you see everything is just animated and that's all which will bring me to the third and most important thing that you will need to learn when you are working with canva videos which is what i what is called element timing and what i refer to as the secret source <laughs> of canva so let me show you what that means if i click this if i play this video you see that everything came in and that is done if you are just beginning this is your first time that's totally fine if you want to use your video to tell a story you will need control over some of the elements on this page so in order to do that let me show you what that means if you select this here you'll find something here is called show timing this show timing is where you now begin to take control of all the elements on that page if you select that it's going to show up this for you and if you click on position here you'll be able to see all the different layers that make up your video now because this is a template i'm going to delete this page and i'm going to use something from scratch so in order to do that very well let me go to chat gpt let me go to chat gpt and let me use chat gpt to come up with what we can create a video about is that fine if that is fine please give me a thumbs up so that i know that <laughs> all right so let's create a video so um short video about compassion um so let's say short video idea about compassion i'm just putting that randomly now it says the ripple effect of compassion it's typing a lot of things now let me now using the text it's giving us So now I'm saying, give me text to use as visuals on screen. So based on that video, this is the visual it's going to give me on screen. So this can be the voiceover while this can be the text. So loneliness can be overwhelming. So I'm going to copy that. Let's take it to our video. Now you press T on your keyboard, you paste your text. This is your text here. Now I'm going to change this font to a font I like to use called Garrett, which happens to be the name of my boss. <laughs> <laughs> so this is loneliness can be overwhelming now how do you make up your video you come to elements loneliness can be overwhelming so let's search for loneliness and let's go to graphics or go to photos now a secret you might want to explore in canva is when you're searching for things especially under graphics click on these settings here choose animated and you'll be able to find animated elements inside canva so for example look at this so this here talks about loneliness but i'm going to turn off that animated part so you see everything all over again now under here says loneliness can be overwhelming so let's put this guy here 
I'm going to delete this and put this here. Loneliness can be overwhelming. Let's make the text bold. What you want to do again is you want to increase the size of your text so that everything is visible from a glance. Loneliness can be overwhelming. Let's pick the next one. A simple act of kindness. The next page is your text, a simple act of kindness. For this, I want to bring my, so let's look for, for this, let's bring in this image here. Now, how do you animate? To animate, select your elements, click on animate here, and you can explore all the different animations that exist right here. So you can explore any of these. And if you want to add motion effect, you can add motion effect. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a pop. I'm going to do on enter. And for this, I'm going to use a drift and it's going to drift from bottom up. And for this, I'm going to make it drift from this side to go side, or let me use rise. Let's come from top and let's use breathe for this other text. Now let's play our video. Let's see what we've done so far. So I'd like to take a little feedback here. Do you understand what I'm showing you so far? If you understand, please kindly type yes so that I know that I am getting you. Because I'm sharing the screen. Okay, great, great. You can also use thumb up. Thank you, Sarah. So if you create, if you have your video like this, now you can see this goes from here and it comes here. Now, let's say you want to introduce your logo. So in order to introduce your logo, I'm going to pick the logo from this brand that I have here. So I'm going to copy this logo and take it here. And I'm going to paste it somewhere here. You can see that the logo is kind of hidden away. Nobody can see the logo. Now, how do I make the logo visible? How do I make the logo visible? Here's a little tip when it comes to using the Canva. If you click on the edit photo here, you can click on this. If you scroll here, you see duo tone. And if you tap on that button, you can change it to any color you want. So even a normal logo, you can change it to any color you wish. So if you want to use maybe a purple, you can literally change it to a purple just by... I'm done with that. So now we have a purple logo. So the logo has gone from white that it was to a purple. What are we doing here? We are beginning to customize this so that it looks a little bit on brand. This photo, we can't customize it. It's better to actually leave it like this, except you want to change it to maybe, perhaps, maybe a black and white. That might be something you might want to do. So for that, in order to change it to black and white, I can simply just reduce saturation, increase contrast. And that way it becomes black and white and has less colors. Another thing I can do here is to use gradient transparent and have this gradient transparent here, roll it around like this, and then put it behind my image. So I use position, go to arrange, send to back. Now I have a little bit of background. Is the design beginning to look okay? Let's see, this looks interesting, but I don't want. Now I can move this up here a little bit. For this purple, I'm going to change the color to a blue instead of a purple, or let's change it to a gray. Okay, so a gray is more interesting to the eye. For this screen here, a simple act of kindness. Um, so let's play the video all over again. So here's a secret. When you're creating videos like this, especially if you're going to be using voiceovers or you're going to be using music, because it's your first screen, the way to make your videos engaging will be to have your elements come on screen pretty fast and to not stay on screen for too long. This is what I mean by that. So let me show you this video here. So let's say 
we are using this video here. Now, please pay attention. It's trying to render so that I can. So let me take it back. Okay, since that is loading slowly, what I'm going to do is let me let me pick it from TikTok. So let me get my TikTok link so that I can literally just play that. If you are trying to call my attention, just please hold on. I'm trying to get a link from here. All right. All right. So with the video, yes, the video of this will be available afterwards. Thank you for asking that. All right. So all the videos that you have here, all the videos that I have inside this Canva file, um, where is the file? All the videos I have inside have them here. So this is that particular is in it. So you can see how everything is coming on screen very fast and nothing is staying too long. So if you want to do that, if you want to make that happen, how you do that is you reduce the number of, so if you look at your video here has five seconds. So what you do is you reduce it from five seconds to maybe let's say 3.5 instead of five seconds completely. So you reduce to maybe 3.5 seconds. Then you click, click enter, then you play it again, see? With that, it's still too long. So you can also reduce the length of your video by dragging this corner here. So if you look at what I'm doing here, you see you can reduce the length of your video by dragging it here. So if I take it back, now play. You see, we've just communicated something right there. Now, how do you add the music? Again, remember that this is me showing you the basics first so that you can understand how this works. Now, how do you add the music? In order to add the music, you come to audio here under in your Canva apps here. So you come to audio. If you don't have your audio turned on, what you do is, let me turn this off, uh, turn off for now. So if you don't have your audio turned on here, what you click is you come to apps here and you'll see audio right here. So if you click on audio, it's going to turn this on for you. Now let's search for a, an emotional audio. <laughs> let's search for an emotional audio. Now you can play it before you start adding it to your video file. So I don't like that. Okay, this looks like it. Now in order to add your audio, how do you add your audio? Simply click on the audio like this. I'm trying to move my mouse around so that you can see what I'm doing. You simply just click on your audio and then it gets added to your file automatically like this. Now, remember that we've reduced the length of our video. So it's going to add your audio only to the um, limit of your video file length. So I'm going to play that video again. So you can see that. Now, in order to adjust the audio, what you do is you click on the audio here, you click on adjust, and you'll see it's going to show up. So this is why I click on adjust up at the top of my screen here. You click on adjust, and then you can drag the audio to any part of the clip that you want to actually play. So if you want to play a more active part of the clip, I can drag it up to this part and just simply move it like this. And then let's play that. Let's hear what it's going to sound like. No audio. Oh, you can't. Okay, so apparently I need to switch back to sharing tab, which may not. Okay. So at this point, you should be able to hear. But did you understand what I've done so far? Okay, thank you. So 
let me repeat the audio again. For that audio, I'm going to delete the audio. So let's take the audio out. Now, in order to find the audio, you come to your audio tab here, turn it on from the apps, then click on emotions, add the audio right here, click on adjust here. Now, before I actually adjust it, let me play the audio so that you hear what it sounds like. Interesting. Was that the actual audio I played? What happened? Did anything change? <laughs> this is completely different from what I was actually playing. But anyway, let's move on. If you click on adjust, you can then drag all of these here. So you can drag it to the part where you find more interesting. And then you can take it back. Okay, now that we're done with that, that's basic editing, basic video creation using Canva. You can see from here, I've literally just created a video and this video can do anything. Now, this is where you add transition. If you want to add transition to your file, simply come in between your, just move your mouse in between the pages. Somewhere in the middle of the pages is going to swipe upon the LV, the icons for you to be able to add transition or to add the page. So if you click on add transition, you will be able to add transition. So depending on what you want to use, depending on how you intend to use that. But what I've done is also to do a video walkthrough of how to actually use the specific time, the specific place where you can use any of these um, different transitions. I've already done a video walkthrough of that. In case you're interested in that, I will be happy to share more information on that. Anyway, moving on. Let's now play it now that we have a video, a transition in between. So let's make this transition. No, let's use a flow. Let's make it flow from the top. Now let's play the video all over again and let's watch what we are going to have. Remember that we did not have a transition before. We just had animations. Now I've added transition. Let's see what that video is going to look like. I'm going to play that again. Now, compared with initial video that we created, do you think this is more engaging to the eyes compared to what we had before we added that transition? Again, you are totally free to unmute yourself and speak. In fact, I'm happy when I can hear your voices <laughs> than when there is no voice. So please feel free to unmute yourself and speak and say something. Anyone still here? Anyone still here? I can't hear anybody's voice. Okay. All right, so now that I've covered that, in the next couple of minutes, I'm going to give you the opportunity to create a video. So you create the video and then I'll probably just look at it on screen. You will share, if you can, if you can share your screen and then show me what you've done and I'll give you input, tell you where to improve. Now let's create a little bit of advanced video here. By advanced video, I'm saying, now that you've learned these basics, let's take it further. Let's take it a little bit further. Now, in order to take it a little bit further, let's look at quick cuts to text for each, helping a neighbor in need, donating food to the shelter, supporting friends through times. Um, so let me let me find a an interesting video that you will find fascinating. So for this, I'm going to simply share it to my other tab. So just give me, okay, so great. So now I want to share this other one here. So I want you to please look at this video here. This is a video created again from scratch, just using text and animations within Canva. So please watch. You will notice that there's no audio, right? <laughs> there isn't any audio. That's because there's no audio in the fire. I'm going to add audio while you're watching this. So you will see 
Now, how did I create this kind of video? And by the way, have you seen this kind of video on social media? Perhaps maybe on Instagram or on TikTok. Have you seen any video like this before? You probably would. Maybe you probably would. Now, what you can do with this will probably be to go from here to, okay, let me say make a copy. Let me make a copy and drop that copy inside this file here. Oh, stop sharing. Why? All right, so let's make this video a little bit more interesting. In order to make this video a little bit more interesting, let me show you a little tip here that may be useful to you. So let me reduce the amount of time for that intro. For this background, I want to re-edit this background. So let's take off that background. You can see this background has been taken off. Now what we'll do is, let's go to elements, let's start go setting. And you are going to select a video. And for this video, you can choose whether you want a square video or a horizontal video or a vertical video. So for this, I'm going to choose a vertical video. You can see I've chosen vertical video right here. Now, what I'm going to do is my, my keyword is goal setting. So I'm going to drag this goal setting video, put it in the background of this video here. Now you can see that it goes, it takes the video from 2.7 seconds to 13 seconds. Now, that's just one video. I want something a little bit more engaging. So let me use this one instead. So let's use, okay, let's use this instead. Now let's take this video from 12 seconds. Let's bring it to our 2.8 seconds and let's press enter. You can drag to find any parts you want to use. So you don't have to use the entire video and you can put this here. Now let's take it to the beginning. Let's play the video again. Now watch the difference this video introduction now makes. Can you see the difference from just that static background to using a video background? Now, all of this here, if it's not very clear, you can literally just come to effect here, add an outline, perhaps maybe add the background, come to effect at the background, maybe change the background for this to maybe a yellow and change the text to a, uh, let's say black. And for this, you can maybe drag it a little bit so that it's easier for the eyes to see, take it down, take it down. And where's our five? So now for this, set this video as background. And let's take this animation off. Now let's, for this, you can actually still go ahead and reduce how much of the video is seen. You can even add a dark background to it and make the video a little bit in the background. And now let's play the video and let's see what you get. Does this look like a video you've probably seen online? <laughs> and all of this is created using just Canva. So you are not even stressing yourself trying to create, trying to do a lot of recording. You probably just start this here and then it goes to one, two, three, four, five. And you're done. Maybe at the end, you add your call to action. Maybe they should follow you or maybe they should um, sign up to your gift to your charity, sign up for, to your offer, create a business, whatever it is that you're selling. You can literally do that using just Canva here. So that's what we are going into for the next couple of seconds. So our next session here, at this point, I'm going to stop sharing my screen. So let me quickly, let me take a couple of feedback at this point. Which part is not clear so far? You're free to unmute yourself. You're free to speak. Please go ahead. So which part is unclear so far? Is anything um, a little bit um fuzzy looks like sarah is actually doing the practice as we are <laughs> have you ever created a video in canva before oh did you know you could make videos with canva before you can unmute yourself i can hear you yeah i i think i knew you could put clips in um, I know it's really powerful, but it's good to see what's possible. It does give me the um, motivation to kind of have a go. Nice, 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 nice. 
And how about the Robbins um, Creative Channel Canadian Entrepreneur Rose Wheeler? And by the way, um, in case you're just coming here, you're welcome. I hope this is helpful to you so far. So, does anybody have question at this point? I'll be happy to answer any questions you have. If you have any questions at this point, I'll be very very happy to answer them. So. What is going to happen is, let me switch back to my screen. At this point, I'm going to switch back to my screen and I'm going to now give you the task that I wanted to give you, which is in this session, this first session, you are going to be creating a video. I'm going to be here with you, so I'll be guiding you through so you don't need to worry. <laughs> so if you run into any challenges, I'll be happy to help. Okay, so a new person just joined us. So I'll be happy to help. Okay, so let me switch back to my... Okay, so welcome, welcome, welcome. So for this, let's have this window here. All right, so this is going to be your first challenge for this session. So. This is your challenge right here. This is the prompt. Um, create a short video. You want to create a short video. Let me zoom this in so that you can see it clearly. So you want to create a short introduction video using Canva. You want to just showcase your name, your interest, and your creativity. So we want to experiment with different text, graphics, and transitions to make your video engaging and visually appealing. Now, there's a little bit of constraint here. Constraint number one is you must not use more than three colors. <laughs> and the reason for that constraint is because as a professional designer of 20 years, I know the less colors you see on a screen, the more interesting it looks. For example, this entire screen right now, you notice that this entire screen you're looking at is just made up of two, three colors. <laughs> Except for this animation here that has a little bit of difference. Again, Three colors max. Second is use one font and then use the elements that you're going to be adding to tell a story. So is that clear? Is that clear? If it's clear, give me a thumbs up. If it's clear, give me a thumbs up. Let me know that that is clear. Your task will be to create a short introduction video using Canva. So maybe you introduce yourself or introduce your business. You probably already have your picture within Canva. So if you can use your picture, if you already have that. If you don't have that, get a picture of yourself. Or if you want to, you can use a picture of someone else. Just go ahead. So I'm going to set a timer on screen right about now. So I'm going to turn on this timer here. And we are going to do that for the next 10 minutes. All right. So your 10 minutes. So are we good to go? 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 Who help? Is anybody else who might not be able to do this? Is anybody who might not be able to do this? Anybody at all? All right. So in that case, okay, Rose, you might not be able. Oh, that's totally fine. Um, even though I'm kind of curious to know um what the blockade, uh, what could be the blocker. I'm just curious to know. Okay. All right, so uh, 10 minutes starts. This is 3.46. Okay, you are not able. Oh, that's totally fine. Okay, so um, in that case, should we have a hot seat? Maybe, Sarah, would you want to share your screen and do it in front of everybody? Is that fine? <laughs> You are muted, so I can hear you. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, so that's totally fine. So I'm going to stop sharing here. So um, from the... So let me give you the... You should be able to actually share. Yes, you can go ahead and share your screen. Uh, okay. Okay. That's the 
Robbins, that's totally fine. Is that right? Okay. okay so, Sarah, you can go ahead. You can share your screen. All right. So, create a short intro video. Sorry. Okay. Okay, go ahead. I'm watching you, so just okay. go ahead. You're free to, you're free for the next 10 minutes. Go ahead, just explore. <laughs> Is that your organization? Yeah. Interesting. I, I, yeah, I've never created a video before, so I've just been really experimenting on. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing more and more frustrating than watching somebody who doesn't quite know what they're doing, surely. <laughs> <laughs> I like looking over people's shoulders when they're not doing it right. Don't be worried, it's totally fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's totally fine. Can you hear music? You said? Can you hear music? Okay, at this no, we can't hear the music. Okay. So I'm, I, as soon as you click on it, it adds it. So how do you stop that? How can you listen to it without adding it? Okay, so um, you can delete that. Now yeah. go to the side of your screen. Click on the on the thumbnail of the music instead of the. Uh, okay. The like it's worked, right? Great. Cool. Okay, so how about transition and animation? Okay. You want to stretch the audio to get to the beginning, right? Yeah. Okay, so to do that, just move the audio. Just move, uh, yes, move like that. Okay. Yes. Oh, I've actually created a transition there. How have I done that? What's match and move? So, in order to do that, click on the logo. Yeah. You should be able to see animate on your screen. Breathe. Yeah, okay, totally. So you've already animated that. Okay, so now for the text, the next page. Yeah. So, select the text and then animate and then add your animation to that. So cool. So repeat that again. No, I said cool. Oh, cool. So add, add the animation that you like, add the kind of animation that you want. Right. It's up to you. <laughs> okay. And then what was? So for trans, is it transition you're looking for? Oh, the transitions disappeared. Oh, there it is. Yeah. So when we were looking at so you can, you can add any, what 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 is match and move? 
So match and move works when you have the same elements on two pages. So it kind of moves from a, the previous page to the next page using that same element as its um, anchor point. Okay, got you. So if you have a big size of this logo, so if you want to test that, duplicate this logo. So duplicate the logo. Um, to duplicate the logo, select the logo itself. Like Click on that plus button. Now drag it, drag it to the next page on the timeline. Like Great. Now reduce the size. Reduce the size of the logo. Good. Move it to a side. Um, my mind is working graphics right now, so move it to the other side while the text will be to the other side. So yes. So for the text, justify the text. Um, rather justify, align it right. Hang on, because I can't. I can't cope with that. <laughs> no. Okay. So you want to use. So for this, I will recommend using a red color. You already know that. Fantastic, fantastic. I'm loving this. So. <laughs> Select the text, great. So probably select everything and then- And you want to just found the right? Yes, to right. No, to left. Wow. So click out of the uh, box, good. Now my recommendation, another recommendation, select the box again. Um, click on the bullet point, turn on bullets. Reduce the size of the text. So now this final page, you can delete the good. So now drag the drag it to the middle. Let the project um, the logo come a little closer to the text, a little closer. Sorry, I didn't hear that. Okay, let your logo move the logo closer to the text. Okay, fantastic. Now you can go back to your transition in between those pages. Yes. Now you can use match and move. Now watch what's going to happen. Do you notice anything? Do you notice the transition? Oh, fancy. So that's how match and move works. That's pretty cool. So did, it, <laughs> did it recognize it was the same? image because I've copied it. It's recognized that it's the same image. So if I created another page and duplicate this again. Yes, it's still going to recognize that. And then with whatever here. Yep. I was quite interested in when you added the video. You have one minute left. You've not have you added the soundtrack? Yeah. Okay. Okay, good. Good. Um, and I'm in video elements. So your time is up, <laughs> but go ahead, but go ahead. <laughs> Since you're the only one, um, I just hope others are able to learn from how you're doing it as well. So it's just to take a little feedback from everybody. Are you able to learn from what Sarah is doing? Now, Sarah, you can right click your video, right click your video and choose set video as background. Good. Oh, my I picked up the wrong logo. The, uh, that's totally fine. You can select the, the 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 logo. You can actually so um click on edit photo. Let's see. At the top oh, of sorry, click on click on what? Click on edit photo at the top of your um at the menu up at the top of the screen. Here. No, edit photo. Oh, okay, go ahead. So you have breathe and all that. Okay, click on BG remover. On remover? 
Yes, click on BG Remover. Can you see that? Yeah. Now, now click on Under Effects. You can scroll under effect till you find Duo Tone. Oh. So select any of them. Select any of them. Change the color from orange. Change the uh, orange. My brand, my brand guidelines went a lot. Oh, just, just hold on, hold on. Don't forget that I'm a brand person myself. Yeah. I mean, I've had over 10 years of branding. So what you are do doing is you are literally just changing the entire logo to just white. So that's yeah, how, how do I change it to white? Yes. Yeah, so select the, from the highlights that or um, cream color, move it to white, or just type F F F F. Just type F six times. Six times and press enter. Oh. Great. Now, have you done that? I'm not seeing. That didn't work. Sorry. When I pressed enter, that didn't work. Okay. Click on edit photo again. Um, so click on the second color. That's the shadows. And then type F, 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 F. Now, that's a little secret when you're working with logo. Once you're moving your logo away from your main brand color, the next appropriate color to use to stay on brand is either use a white or a black. That way your logo remains consistently on brand everywhere it appears. The name of the font that is being used is probably Calibri. That's the name of that font. So now if you go back to that transition and you choose, what's the name? Match and move again. Now play the video. Now let's watch what it's going to look like. <laughs> Clap for yourself. <laughs> good, 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 good. So now you can stop sharing your screen. How does that feel? <laughs> it's pretty amazing, really. And now I wish I'd done it in a better. So this is not an ideal size, is it? It should really. Sure. If you're creating it for Instagram, or I should have done it a different size because landscape isn't a good idea, is it? So if you want to, if you've created a video like this and you want to reuse that for Instagram, for example, go to the top of the screen where you find home file resize, click on resize. And then choose type in the resize video, type in that resize videos, type Instagram. So Instagram reels. So type, use oh, the real right. option. The real option, Instagram real. Oh, okay. So copy and resize, yes. So what happens is it's going to adjust that video for you into a portrait mode that you can now reshare on social media. So scroll to that page where we worked on. And now you just need a little bit of organization here. So now move the logo up or down and then put the text this time around, just rearrange the text. Um, so a little bit of caution when you're working, once you see that um, ant kind of lines, it means you should not go beyond that area. It's called imagine. It's a technical design term for, <laughs> for technical designers. <laughs> So reduce the font size, reduce reduce the size a little bit. Good, 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 good. And then your next page, let's see your next page. So move the logo around again. So maybe move the logo a little bit. Okay, good. Good. Oh, okay. Good. good. So rather than I have 16 seconds of video playing, where you have 16.4 seconds beside the play button, you can simply change it to maybe 3.6 or maybe four seconds, depending on what you're trying to achieve. Do you get it now? So that way you're able to use your video to tell the story from the opening page to the end of the video. And you're able to create all of that 
completely from scratch using just Canva. How wonderful is that? <laughs> I can see excitement in your eyes, Sarah, and that's good. <laughs> so I've got all this. I just need to drag this now to make it shorter. Right. Yes, you can simply drag that. So drag it. So drag it closer. Good. Great. Great. I'm so, left with a blank bit here. Is that normal? No, it's just showing us that it's not blank. Hi, Anya. Welcome to this session. Don't worry if you feel you've missed anything. The recording will probably will be available. All right, so now try and play. Let's see what you get. And you can hear your audio, right? Yeah. Fantastic, fantastic. So again, I'm clapping for you. Good job, good job, good job, good job. <laughs> <laughs> for the fact that you're creating your video, a video in Canva for the first time, that's already amazing. That's already amazing. Can what? you recolor the video? You said? Can you use Duotone on on um video video um you might not be able to get it perfectly so to do that you'll go to adjust oh, you put filters on. yes you can only use filters or you can use adjust and you can create a couple of things and by the way sometimes you could also remove the background of a video but that is dependent on the type of video do you get that? So it's sometimes dependent on the type of video. If it's a talking head video, you can take off the background, for example, and replace it with something else. I've actually done that inside Canva itself. <clears throat> All right, so um, you can stop sharing your screen. Let me show you a little bit of how I created something else. All right, so a little bit of cheers for Sarah. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. The, the the light in your eyes kind of feels like you just had some sense of confidence right now. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. 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 So congratulations. <laughs> that was good. At least um, others are able to see how simple it is to do that. It's not complicated at all. It's ju it just requires you um, organizing your file, especially your screen, in a way that looks interesting to the eyes. And you've been able to guide people through a story you're trying to tell. That's basically all that is required for that. Now let's move on to the second challenge for today. The second challenge for today is what I call a little bit of um, advanced kind of video. It's not very advanced. Let's just say intermediate. So we've gone from basic now. Let's look at a little bit of technical video. So what you want to do here is you want to create a short attention grabbing video advert specifically designed for instagram reels or tiktok which you have actually done <laughs> that's quite interesting <laughs> so this video is supposed to highlight a product or service of your choice so it's going to highlight a product of your choice you utilize animations overlays and audio enhancements to make the video visually captivating now let me show you what i'm referring to i'm going to create it from scratch and show you how to do it then I'm going to now give you the opportunity to actually create that yourself. So let me create a new file here. So let's say we want to create a new design file. Let's call that file Instagram Reels. So let's type Reel. So Instagram Reels. Now, what content are we going to use? Let's, we are referring to a product, right? So we said that you should create a video about a product. So if it's a product, let me find a video that I've done about a product. Okay, so let me pick this one up here. So I'm going to pick this one up here. So this is going to be the logo. I'm going to bring this logo. So let's call this advert video. So let's make this fill our screen. Let me drop the logo here first. That's the video right here. Now, let me pick the image. Let me pick all of this here. And let me say, I want to advertise. Um, so let me look for Innocent Rings logo. 
let me look for innocent drinks logo let me look for transparent png and here's a little trick about using files you find on on google so if you see this file here what you want to look for is a file without background so let's now add transparent we are transparent it now you can see this is transparent this is not transparent uh what kind of file is it so this is transparent but the color is not changing okay what i want to do is let me change it to svg okay cool so this is a better logo so i'm going to copy this i'm not going to save i'm simply going to copy image go to my video and then right click and paste you see how simple that is so all you are doing is you are simply just so i'm going to delete the initial logo i had here now for this i want to put this logo down here so i want to sell orange juice so if you are testy of orange juice i'm sorry <laughs> that was not intentional <laughs> so in case you start feeling like oh i need to take orange juice right now it's probably because i'm going to sell you orange juice now let's look for other pages for that let's come here page two this is our text now we are creating a video of this kind this text is going to be too much this text is going to be too much so how do you organize this text to become more meaningful let me show you a little tool that canva has that a lot of people do not know so please pay attention here i'm going to click on this canva assistant here and I'm going to click on magic right and it's going to pop this up and I'm going to paste what I've just written. I'm going to say shorten this text. I'm going to click generate. So see, it says fruit obtained by squeezing or pressing the contents of citrus fruit. The citrus fruit are squeezed or pressed to make fruit juice. So does that look short enough? Nope. Um, this is the short version. Okay, so fruit juice, citrus fruit are squeezed. So you can also use, if you use Grammarly, for example, you can also tell Grammarly to shorten it. So shorten this text. So click on this. Citrus fruit juice made by squeezing, rephrase, make it persuasive. Juice made from citrus fruits by squeezing or pressing them. So insert. Now look at this is it right here. So what I've what I've simply done now is I've used AI to come up with the content without having to write the content myself. Now I'm going to select this and I'm going to click on copy style. I'm going to paste the style here and I'm going to delete this other one. Now you can see this is a lot better compared to the text we had initially. I'm going to put this here. Again, we are going to move this logo to this next page. Oh, come on. What's happening? <laughs> okay, it's moved. Great. So now let's look for orange. So orange juice. Now for this, we want to look for a video. So now I'm going to look for specifically a vertical video and here you go these are different so now i'm going to drag this video you can see this video here i'm going to set this video as background now you see this orange juice and you see this here now let's duplicate this page so i'm going to duplicate this page i'm going to change the video to a different video great now i'm going to duplicate that page again let me look for it when it's ready okay so replace background and then final one will be the logo should come up on that screen so let's look at it okay so we have the logo here so let's delete this and let's bring innocent on the screen let's just bring this right here now how am i going to make that happen so i'm going to go to my first page orange juice is what i've just talked about here so let's make this from this color let's make it red let's make it a little bit reddish then we come to this next page so we drag this put it at the top here change the color to a little bit of white not visible 
black not visible so what do you do effect background and now it's visible but in order to make it visible let's use our brand color so that's brand color coming from there then text color change is to white fantastic our logo is still at the same place now next page you see this here of course we need to come up with a new, different text for this so what we're going to do is let's reduce it to about two seconds let's reduce this to 1.9 seconds okay because he has text we would need to leave space for people to read then this page again this page again two seconds and you can literally just click on this here and just type two seconds and press enter so you can also move this around so that you can play around with it so you have your two seconds up here and then you can move your video and say okay i want it to start from here i want to to end here and you click done with that now this is what i want to show you here a little bit of trick here i'm going to remove the background of this particular video background removed now what i'm going to do is i'm going to look for for rain um, background so let's use a rainbow background for example let's do video let's see if we can find a video background um so let's see if we can find a video background let's use this red um nope let me if i paint in background good i think that's a better yes so this is more appealing to the eyes Oh, sorry. Let me detach video from background before adding that. Then let's add this to this background. So you can see the video is still there. So for this, we simply make it the background while this video is still here. So now we stretch this video back. Now what we've done is still not visible. So let's delete that. Let's change our color to, let's see. I want to use a very, so let's, let's call it fruity background fruity background um so let's look at this okay this looks a little bit interesting because it's dark let's add video as background okay so this here we've taken up the background of that video so now using position, using layers, I want to reorganize them. Okay, so this video, we can delete that video because the video is still not looking great. Sometimes this is where the actual work is in finding the material that will work best for what you're trying to do. So it looks like this might be good. Okay, great. So this is fantastic. So now let me drop my video length. And let's bring this up here now this is what i've done here this is still too long so let's reduce it to one second now if you watch right now you see it's literally creating the entire video so you can delete this page because that's repetition now we go back let's play it all over again And you can see now it looks like we are selling something. <clears throat> now let's take it a little bit further. Let's animate all of these here. So let's animate. In order to animate, you come to animate here. If you've never used animate before, it's going to show as animate. But if you've animated already, it's going to change it to the name of the animation you're using. So for this, I'm going to use a drift and I'm going to let it drift from the top. Uh, let's use a tectonic. Now let's use a drift from the top. For this, I'm going to use a tectonic. Um, let's use a stomp. Great, so that grabs attention. Then once it comes in, it should rotate, you know. Okay, let's see it wiggle. Okay, I think that's actually good. The wiggling can be tiny. Great. Now let's go to the next page. This text here comes in as accent. That's fine. 
there's no video here there's nothing else here so for this page let's make this innocent let's animate this innocent and in order to animate again just as i said if you're doing it for the first time on that page animate is going to show up here or on that element is actually going to show animate rather than the name of the animation you've used so for this i want to use neon so i want it to flash so that it calls attention to i'm here now let's play all of that Okay, that looks like it's long. Yes, it's this. That's three seconds. I wonder. Okay, now it's too short. We can't read what's there. So let's increase that a little bit. So 2.7 seconds. I've not added sound yet, but you can see looking at what we are doing right now. Great. Fantastic. Do you understand what we've done? Now, let's make it a little bit complicated. Uh, okay, let me not take it a little bit complicated. Let me change that. So let's just add audio. So now, in order to add audio, I uh, will need to stop sharing my screen. I'll need to reshare my screen to give you so that you can hear the audio. So let me reshare my screen and give you audio parts so that you can hear the audio. All right, so advert share audio great so here we go so now let's play the video why is it loading okay video loading video loading video loading video loading video is loading why video is loading let me go see if i can get audio Okay, so for this, I'm going to show you how to use multiple audios in one single video. But should we do that right now? Let's use only one audio. So let's play the sound. I'm going to add that. Now, I've added that here. So let's play. You notice, this is not what I want. I wanted to play what I just heard now, not for it to start from a slow part. So in order to do that, I'll simply click on the audio, click adjust, and then I'll drag to the part that I want to use while visually using the waveform to track where it is. Now I'm going to drag it back. Okay, now that we've played, let's play again. Now, transition in between. Let's use a circle transition. Let's circle in. Now, transition here. From here to that page, let's make it flow. Okay, let's make it flow up good and then for this let's use match and move okay great now we've added all of that now let's play again Right now that I've done that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop sharing here. Remember, so this is what you are to do. You are to create an advert, a video advert actually, and you want to sell a product using that video advert. Clear? So again, what you want to do is create a short attention grabbing video advert specifically designed for Instagram, Reels or TikTok. 
highlighting a product or service. Um, use animations, overlays, and audio enhancements to make your video visually captivating. So let's do that. Who wants to try this time around? Who wants to give you the trial this time around? Sarah, you appear to be the only person on screen. Others are not on screen. <laughs> so do you want to give it a trial the second time? Um, I guess so. I just want to carry on with the one that I've already done, though, probably. Okay. Okay. So how... If they have anyone volunteering, then they have... <laughs> Yes, who's going to volunteer to do that? The teaching, okay, creative channel. Are you trying that? And yeah, are you trying that? It would be good to have someone else trial that so that we can have a little bit of um, dynamics. But it's okay if it's only Sarah that's available, that's totally fine. You can go ahead. So, Sarah, please go ahead. Let's see what you make. Um, You're free to share your screen if you want to. Yeah, yeah, I'm just. And so I've got as far as this, but I think it needs to be shorter. I'm a bit confused about what I've done with the video because it's running really slow. Okay, so the the slowness of the video is not um, anything you've done about it. It's majorly a Canva rendering. <laughs> I can't hear you. You said? Well, I could hear them with my, the music and not on my ad and not you. What did you say? <laughs> so I said that the video, it may not be something you've done. It could be Canva trying to render the video, just as it was doing when I was trying to play my video just now. Okay. So that happens sometimes. The way to um, get around that will be to... Um, go ahead, make your video as complete as you want, then download. Once you download, okay. now check. Is everything correctly placed? If not, then you can readjust and then download again. Because once you download, it goes outside of Canvas playing mode. So that rendering kind of stops. So okay. please go ahead. Remember, it's Sorry. not a company you're talking about. You're introducing a product. So sell a product with your video. So I was going to try and do some of what you just did around um, placing images and then change. So the main thing you showed us was changing the background, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, and it's best to take an image from... Actually, no, I'm oh, going to do this. My... Um, having been a brand and marketing person for a while, I'm forming a, a little bit of advertisement for this brand that I'm looking at right now. Is it okay to go ahead and be dropping the ideas in my head? So create a new page. Create a new page. Um, drop the... Okay, you already have the logo on the previous page. So for here, type um what's the name of the what's the name of the organization again red, red project so type type text actually to type text just tap t on your keyboard it's going to automatically add text for you so type red just read it alone type red yes only just read now right. go to the size of your text now before you go to the size of the text hold on click outside of the text click so anywhere around the screen now select the text again. Good. Now go to the size of your text. Now click on that 31.5 and choose from the drop down. That's faster. So just go to maybe 96. 96 is still small. So go to the highest that Canva has there. So now you have to use plus <laughs> start increase. What I want to see is I want it to be to kind of fill the screen. Great. Now the founder is actually fine. 
So select the use position, click on position. Select middle. Select, sorry, what was it? Middle. Middle from the align to page. By the side of your screen, can you see middle? Yes, select middle. Then change the color of your text to a white. Great. Now click another page. Sorry. Click Next what? page. Click a new page. Now this time around, type hen. <laughs> just type T, just press T and then type hen. Great. Select outside of your text, then select your text again. Then just type 400, uh, maybe 300. Great. So now do the same thing, change the color. So when that is happening, it's because the text is not selected. So select outside of the text, then select the text again. Okay, that's fine now. So it should work now. Right. Now, um, next page. So let's do a new page. Um, now the idea has kind of flown away. <laughs> so what I wanted to do was using words and a video in the background, to kind of sell red hen projects. So, um, so for this to red, so go to the first screen, that, that initial screen, that where you have your logo. Oh, right here? No, no, the, the fourth one to the right. So the next one, yes, that. Okay, so now drag that from first 0.7 seconds, reduce it to maybe two seconds or one point something seconds. So 1.2 seconds, one second should be fine. And just for it to flash on screen. Then, so now for the red, reduce it to a 0. Point something seconds as well, maybe 0. Point... Okay, good. Now for hen as well, reduce to 0. 0.8 as well. Okay, good. Now what you want to do is go to where the icon is, the logo icon. Yeah, now try fine. and play. Yes, play from there. So if you tap space bar on your keyboard, you should be able to play. Yeah. Do you notice know anything? Um, I was too busy trying to turn, how can I turn the volume of it down and not turn you down? um so you, what you do is select the audio. audio select the audio click on the icon the volume icon where you find audio beats audio effect adjust beat sync click on the audio icon and audio. take it down okay so i'm playing it from here yes now play oh so what will continue that is what I don't know right now. But what I wanted to do was to use words on the screen coming in one after the other. While what we will now do would be the color for hen, change the color for hen. There's a page of hen, change it to a white background and a red text. For hen? Yes, the hen page, change the background to a white and then change the hen itself to the brand red. Good. Now play it again and watch what happens. Remember, you can press play space bar. Oh, that's cool. Do you notice the transition between the colors? It kind of yeah. makes you want to pay more attention, right? That's yeah. some of the things we do when we are trying to make people pay attention to a video. Yeah. <laughs> so for this page, I don't know what should we put on this page. Okay. Aya, who is sharing for Sarah, you can give us ideas. <laughs> So maybe children again. So can you tell me how to um, change the background to a video? Okay, this, so click this page here. So what you do is go to elements. Uh, yeah. And type, what are you looking for? What kind of background do you want to use? Video wise. Um, Um, 
Okay. Okay, so now the three icons, that three, that mob icon, click on it, replace background. I got it. And then I could put a logo on top of that as well. Yes. So for that, you can write families on this screen. So using Family. the same, yes, using the same text, using the same um, text size, write families. So good families. Now, because the word family. Oh. So the way to do that is to drag your mouse across. Yes, like that. So. Now for this, what we will simply do will be to modify the text. So 300 will cut off the text. So what you would do is, no, don't reduce it. What you would do is instead, um, let it stretch across the screen. Now um, select outside of the, click anywhere outside of the text. Now select the text again. Okay, good. Now click on effects. Oh, you've already selected the text. So what you want to do is you want to select the text box. So just select the text box. So don't select, don't let it show as though you're typing. Good, it's fine like that. Now click effects. Um, I'm trying to see if you can find. So background, click on background. So now the color of the background, change it to your brand red. Then text color to white. I have to highlight that then. No, you don't. Okay, so select. You can now change A to white. So to do that, highlight the text. Then go what? to the top of the screen where you find A, then change it to white. Okay. Now what you do is... Select the edge of the text, select the box like that. Now drag it outside so that it looks as though you are going outside of the frame. Good. Now click on rotate. Is that under position? Okay, so let's do it this way. You know what? Let's do it this way. Let's change things a little oh, bit. Oh, this, you mean this? So you know what? Rather than rotate it, let's let undo the rotation. Undo the rotation. Now, uh, click into the text as though you want to type. Now, use your mouse, go back to, um, let your cursor be in front of F. So now let's go to A. Now press enter. Now press, now move it to M, then Move everything into a horizontal, a vertical. Like that? Yes. So keep going, keep going. Good. Now click outside of that, outside of the text. Now select the text again. Now go to size and Hang reduce on. the size. I'm not, that's in it, isn't it? Then go to size. Yes, just go to size. You'll have to select it. You have to use the drop down. Go to 196. So go to 144. Yes, 145 is fine. Now, using your... Now, the the width of that box is too wide. So close the width a little bit. Good. Now, drag your text to be in the middle of the screen. Let's see if it's going to... So if it's still too big, now reduce the text. Um, does a brand allow capital letters? Yep. Okay, so click on the double A at the top of the screen. Click on out here. Yes, no, so what you would do is select outside of the uh, the rectangle, select everything, then click on the double A. Good. So you can now create videos. You can now continue from there. So we are still following the same trend of one word on one screen. <laughs> but you will have to reduce the length of that page. Yeah. Okay, apparently you are already getting it. So that's very, very good. 
if you don't want the audio to actually move into this page, you can actually select the audio and cut the audio off at the end of the previous video you were working on. Great. Cool. You're enjoying yourself. <laughs> yeah. All right. So that's fantastic. Thank you very, very much. All right. So you can stop sharing your screen at this point. Um, let me take a couple of questions. So we are now in the Q&A section. So who has any question? Um, I promised that at the end of these editing challenges, somebody is going to win a free spot in a gift. And the gift is a free spot in a full Canva video course that I just recently created. It's very new. I've not even launched it yet. <laughs> so that is totally, totally. All right. So it's a it's a short course, but it's short in the sense that it takes you maybe 30 minutes per day, spread across 14 days in order for you to go through the course so that you can acquire at least a little bit of skill and then the skill um, kind of stacks on top of each other over the next 14 days. So if you, since Sarah is, has been the only person that has shown something on screen, so Sarah automatically gets the course. <laughs> Sarah automatically gets the course, so. Well, Sarah... I think it's surprising it might be better for you to give me a proper professional one for my charity, because <laughs> <laughs> that would be as good. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the 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 thing is uh with what you've just done in this session so far you can see that the potential of what you can make with canva is pretty big there are videos that i've made that people do not actually believe that i actually created a video in canva um let me show you one video that i made that i made it was actually an advert a full-blown advert um it was an advert let me search for it. So wealth and well-being is the name of that program. And it's a video. So let's I'll share my screen. So let me bring that up for you. Hopefully, I'm going to be able to play it so that you can hear the video from the Okay, so now let me share my screen so that you can see the video. And this video from beginning to the end was created using Canva. All I did was just to do the recording outside of Canva because of my mic. I recorded and I brought the audio into Canva and continued from there. So right now, can you see my screen? Can you see my screen, please? Yeah. Okay, so you know what? let me drag this to this other screen here. Okay, so let me play. By the way, can you hear the audio? No. Oh, so I'll need to reshare that. <laughs> this dynamic of having to share audio is unique to <laughs> it's unique to Google Chrome. So and it's not a very interesting experience. Um Okay, so now let me share my screen. So now you should be able to hear the audio. Good. So now you should be able to hear the audio. The audio is the video is coming up on screen. So look at the entire video right here. You can see this is the entire video right here. This is the audio that made up the entire video. You can see it right there. So I'm going to come to play up here. We believe entrepreneurs deserve to build their businesses and companies in better mental state and well-being. We believe entrepreneurs create wealth not just by creating more profitable companies or building technologies that are widely accepted.
Now I'm going to repeat that because it's rendering. We believe entrepreneurs deserve to build their businesses and companies in better mental state and well-being. We believe entrepreneurs create wealth not just by creating more profitable companies or building technologies that are widely accepted, but by developing practical tools and enabling environments. Sarah, you can see that this was what you were talking about, that it was kind of slowing and hanging. So it's a default Canva thing. It's a normal thing when you are editing a video. The video tries to process um, the elements that make up the video in order for it to actually be able to play it without um, stress. That's what is happening here. But let me play it from within the app itself. So We believe entrepreneurs... So you can see this have is to build their businesses and companies in better mental state and well-being. We believe entrepreneurs create wealth not just by creating more profitable companies or building technologies that are widely accepted, but by developing practical tools and enabling environments. You see, it's gotten to that part again. Now it's hanging. <laughs> I'm going to force it to play. There's no force button. It's not accepting. I'll have to wait for it. But you know what? I'm going to move this here. Good. Man, why is it hanging like this? Why is it hanging like this? Why is it hanging like this? But anyway, we are developing a whole new series of masterclasses featuring strategic guidance, advice, and inspiration. Since it's refused to play smoothly, okay, maybe I should actually download the video. Let me download the video and then I'll play it on screen so that you can watch that. Okay, so at this point, let me take questions. Let me take feedback. So I would like you to unmute yourself. Um, share with me two, one or two things that you've learned from this session so far, especially other persons upside from Sarah. So Rose, Canadian entrepreneur, creative channel, Aya, D. Robbins, please share with me one thing that you've actually learned from this session so far. Who wants to go first? Okay, so let's go from Rose. Rose, do you want to share what you've learned so far? Um, how about Canadian Entrepreneur? Do you want to share something you've learned from this session so far? Okay, the video is actually still rendering. I can also give you guys the um links to many of these things that i've actually done within canvas so that you can watch them so how about creative channel can you share with me something you've learned from this session so far anya how about you can you share with me something you've learned so hey. far hiya um so i came in a bit late because i guess i mixed up the time zones um oh so sorry <laughs> yeah so i came in when um you guys were already in the thick of it but um i guess learning the transitions um so i've, I've experimented with videos on canva before and i've only been able to do like the small animations but um learning like the transition into the other frame of the video was really cool for me like i think it's something i would use or I, like i'm going to try to use it um because yeah it was interesting <laughs> <laughs> thank you thank you thank you that's that's great thank you yeah and I sorry, hope that... I missed a lot of it because um <laughs> i was really looking forward to get it and then i came in later so sorry oh that's that, that's totally fine which time zone are you joining us from gmt minus four um so that's right now it should be 12 p.m where you are it's like 
13 minutes until 12 p.m. Ah, uh, interesting. <laughs> and I also want to apologize to Sarah for having to do only work class. <laughs> 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 What's totally Sarah? Fine. You are a trooper. <laughs> <laughs> That's totally fine. So, uh, thank you very much for sharing that, Anya. That was very, very good. And I hope that you could take this right from this moment and perhaps create more interesting videos for yourself, for your business, for your brands. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you for that. How about do Robbins? Okay, Rose Wheeler says, lend loads. Add no experience at all of using Canva for video. Adding audio particularly interesting. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. I hope that everyone has been able to at least acquire a new skill that you can use, whether you are a teacher, whether you are a, an entrepreneur, whether you run a small business, whether you run a charity like Sora does, <laughs> or whether you, you are, maybe you are just a content creator. You could literally use any of these. And let me show you something that you may actually be more interested in, which will um, which will be very, very useful to everybody. Let me see if I can bring that up on my screen here. Have I started sharing my screen? Why is it not sharing? I clearly thought I'm sharing my screen. Okay, so... You won't believe this. Interesting. So something may happen soon. Something may. Okay. So it stopped. Good. Okay. Very good. Thank God it stopped. <laughs> So let me bring something up on screen and show you where that is playing from. Oh, so what actually happened is all the videos that we, we, I was trying to play earlier, they've now rendered. So they are basically just playing through. Oh, Creative Channel says, I have learned a lot from this class, especially I've learned how to create a video in a smooth and amazing way that I didn't know. Wow. I would like to ask you a question on behalf of my friend, how to get a cover pro for free. And I'm sorry, I couldn't contribute much like creating a video. Um, so I, as a Canva ambassador, I can actually give you a link to Canva pro for free for I think 30 days thereabout. Um, let me fetch that from my YouTube channel. So I have a YouTube channel in case you want to um, subscribe actually. So let me type that here, youtube.com slash. So let me type that here for you pretty fast. So I actually have a YouTube channel that you might want to also check out, but normally I don't. So this is YouTube here. Oh, interesting. You know what just happened? The video that actually played on my channel happens to be a video about YouTube video, about Canva video. So if you see here, you see this is a video about Canva video editing. So I can pick this video here and give you the link down here. Now for Canva Pro, this is a link to Canva. Let me get it for you. So this is link to Canva Pro, so you can. So this is link to Canva Pro, so you should be able to get the Canva Pro. So Creative Channel, I hope this is worth your time. So um, audacitytoleed.com slash Canva Pro should be able to send you to creating a free Canva account. You should be able to get a um, Canva Pro for free for 30 days if you are if you are um, signing up with a new account. So if you sign up with a new account, you should be able to get a Canva Pro for free for 30 days. All right, so this is what I wanted to share with you. I wanted to show you what...
All right, so. So this right here is the course that I was just talking about. So Sarah gets free access to this course right after this um, session ends. So this is a video course that I just recently created. By the way, I have courses on Udemy. My course on Udemy has over 13,000 students. And by the way, the course, is, the course I have on Udemy is about Canva videos. And interestingly, that happens to be the first Canva video that was made online. It was just me playing around and then I found out that, oh, I can actually use Canva to create videos. And then I started to, um, tinkering around and I began to create videos using Canva. So for the 14 days Canva video mastery course, these are some of the things you will be able to do. You'll be able to create video, YouTube videos. You'll be able to create smartphone content. You'll be able to create commercial and ads. You'll also be able to create travel videos. More importantly, this is the this is the um this is the agenda for each day so the first day you'll learn how to unlock canva video settings day two you will be able to learn how the canva skills that elevate the, your videos there are four five skills that are actually shared in this particular day how i use canva how i use canva to make videos and on day three you learn about canva video frames on day four you learn about you actually master how to use transitions and the transitions I just showed you. For day five, you learn how to do what I call Canva template mashup, where you're able to use a template in Canva, but nobody's going to recognize that you have actually used a template. You know, sometimes you could use a template and then you see the template somewhere else and you're like, oh, I know that template. I've seen that template before in Canva. <laughs> that has never happened with many of the videos I create. And day six, you'll be able to learn how to make YouTube shorts using Canva. Day seven, you'll be able to learn how to create trending Instagram reels. Day eight, particularly, you'll be able to learn how to create cinematic marketing and sales videos. Um, I'm going to show you an example of what that video looks like in a couple of minutes. You will see what some of those videos are. Then day nine, you'll be able to boost creativity with Canva AI tools, just as I did when we were trying to work some minutes ago. Day 10, I'll introduce you to how to combine Canva plus CapCut in case you want to do some things that are a little bit advanced for Canva. You'll still be able to do them using CapCut. By the way, CapCut is also a free software. And then how to create more videos in less time with Canva plus ChatGPT. The same way you saw me do just now, just that I would show you in this course the structure behind how I tend to use that. And for day 12, you learn how to speed up your videos in Canva. For day 13, you learn how to create personal AI video in Canva. That is, for example, your picture could actually create a video, an entire video for you in Canva. And day 14, you learn about text to image AI for video creation. And you also get my personal support. So I'm going to be here to support you throughout the entire course. So while you're taking the course, if you have questions, I can jump on a call with you. If you have any, you run into anything, I can literally, I'm just a chat away. And this is just a little bit about me here. Now, interestingly, these are some of my students who have taken my course, both across different parts of the world. And these are some of the things you also get as part of that course. First bonus you get is content creation strategies. This is a specific framework that I've been teaching since 2017, 2018. That I've been teaching this specific content creation strategy. It's a very interesting way to create a content. So for example, let's say, Sarah, you have a message you want to share with the world. How to take that message and translate that message into something that people actually care about, something that people actually pay attention to. That's something I teach with that content creation strategy. So I teach you how to pick a message you have and fix it to a problem, fix it into a framework, what I call a methodology, which is coming from my background in research, how we create methodologies when we say research methodology. <laughs> so it kind of goes into you taking advantage of everything you've learned over time and turning that into a system for your content creation process. And then um another bonus is how to design social graphics using the canva mobile app but this one here is called this third bonus is from canva to cash flow how you can use canva videos and ai can help you make extra money whether on the side or for your business 
I know the dressing thing, everything is just 20 pounds. But again, this course is not ready yet. The course itself is ready, but I'm currently in the process of setting everything up so that it's easier for people to access. As a UX designer, uh, somebody who designs experience for people, I know how important it is for you to have a seamless experience accessing the course. So I'm trying to still make that happen. So if you are interested in that, and by the way, Sarah, you already get a spot in the course. <laughs> so congratulations for that. <laughs> so Sarah gets a spot in the course. Now, at this point, let me show you some of the videos that I've actually created using Canva. Let me open up one video for you, especially that advert video so that you can see what is possible. Um, so let me get the video. I'm going to play the video directly here. So I'm not going to play the video inside um, Canva. I'm doing that so that it's easier for us to uh, play it so that Canva does not slow us down. So this is one. So let me play the window. Let me open up the window for you. So this is a special video here. All right, so I want you to see this video here. Can you see my screen, please? Can anybody see my screen? Yes, yes. Okay, great. Now, please, now watch this video. So that's one video. Here is another one. Let me repeat that again. So that entire video was made using Canva. Were you able to hear the sound? Okay, yeah. great. So that entire video was made in Canva. Um, let me play another one for you so that you see. But you can literally see that everything is literally easy. So this is another video here, also made using Canva. This does not have a, 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 any audio because the audio, I kind of add the audio from social media. So what I do with this is if I want to tap into a trending song on Instagram or something, I just create a series of just visual, I create a series of visuals and then I go on Instagram and then use the audio that is trending. That way I get a lot of views to my videos. So normally I get maybe 30, 40 views. But since I started trying out that, I began to get sometimes 400, sometimes 4,000. I've even gotten one that went up to, I think, was it 6,000 or about? And you know what? Just to even show you how much you can actually do without necessarily having to come on screen every time. Because if you can master this, my belief is if you can master how to create videos using Canva, um in the next couple of years videos is going to be everywhere but you have the, also have the password so for example look at this video here this is 720 this is 714 this is 311 this is 262 this is 1426 but look at normal number that i used to get before see all the normal number that i used to get before this video was created using Canva. this is a Canva video And that's an Instagram, that's a TikTok video. This is also another video here. And then this is, by the way, all of those were created literally using just Canva.
All right, so with that, I'm going to bring this to an end. Thank you very much. This has been a wonderful time sharing with everybody. This is an interesting two hours well spent. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, Rose, thank you. Sarah says thank you. So thank you, thank you, thank you very much, guys. I hope that this is, has been helpful to you. It's been a pleasure to share it with you. Um, please, you can also um, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to. But again, I will be glad to let you know as soon as the course is out, I'm going to send an email to everybody. Is it okay to send an email to everybody to notify? Sarah already gets an automatic admission. <laughs> and by the way, one of the reasons why I actually made that a gift for this session was because I wanted to support a business or a brand in helping them use Canva for their business or brand. So it was, should I say destiny or fate or whatever that brought that it was Sarah that won it. <laughs> so thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, I've supported the charity. That's right. So thank you. So I'll send an email across to everybody as soon as the course is ready. I'll let you know so that you also have the chance to be a part of that. I'll be very happy to take you further. I'll be happy to walk you through in case you run into anything. But with what you've learned today, I believe you can get started already. All right. So thank you, everyone. I'm going to start the recording at this point. And as soon as the